This is Guns and Eyes Watches, and had an eventful day. I'll talk about it later. Not right this second. This is a Gail Bradley I just got in the mail, because, uh, of course, I've been going through a natural disaster. Just a fucking snowstorm. Did it matter to me? No. Because I'm prepared. It's the way it works. This is my old Gail Bradley. 5.45 ounces. Here's the new Gail Bradley. The new Gail Bradley is skeletonized. You can see it in there. This one has no skeletonization. This one does. It has some skeletonation, skeletonization on both sides. Is it highly skeletonized? No. But it has little circles cut in it. The new one weighs 5 ounces. 5.05. .05, effectively 5 ounces. Oh, the center of gravity, of course, has moved forward a little bit. More to where you would put your hand if you were actually going to use the back of that handle. And I hate to sit there and say it, it's only half an ounce, but it's a much better knife. It's not that the half an ounce matters so much. It's the fact that the center gravity has moved to a point to where I can feel the blade out there more. It's, it's just a weird feeling, okay? I'm not trying to be a, a weirdo about it, but half an ounce or something like that in a knife. If it changes the center of balance, more towards the blade is good. Chefs, when they hold their knives do it this way they want the center of balance to be right in front of the of the guard which is what people that use knives every day that's what they want so it's what I've learned to use this Gail Bradley of course is I don't even have to I don't even have to guess I, I could mix these up and I could just doing that can tell this one's lighter easy okay rock out is that what this video is about? No. Is it the, that the new Gail Bradley with the s s skeletonization is, is just so much better than the old one? No, not really. They're, they're both really good knives. They're hard-use knives. They are not uh, for, as I said before, doing, you know, I wouldn't thrust with one, you know, might like that, but my hand's going to, it's going to get knocked out of my hand. If I do some shit like that, <clears throat> what the hell am I cutting, okay, really? Because in a in a combat situation, somebody's gonna come out and that's gonna knock it fall out and yeah, whatever. Okay. What's the video about? Because we're two minutes in. And this video is gonna be real short and real sweet. And I'm this is not this is not gonna be me being nice, okay? This showed up on one of my work computers. Your personal files are encrypted. Of course, we all know that's bullshit because that's not the way this whole scam works. But, you know, let's just say that it does. Let's, let's act like we don't know shit about computers. And it wants me to use Bitcoin. And there's part of an encryption thing. And, and then it wants me to use, go through a Tor browser. If this happens, I'm doing this to be nice, actually. I am going through this to be very nice uh, because if this happens to my system again and I got some message and all that bullshit, of course I dealt with all this, it's all taken care of, all the encryption is wiped clean, this, that, or the other, no bitcoins were transferred, no Tor browser was used. If this happens to my system again, I am going to pwn someone. To the layman that thinks that this is means something, the only reason I haven't robbed the person that did that is because I gave my word. Fuck with the normal population. Fuck with whoever you want to. Do whatever you want to, but you have to understand there are people out there like me that the only thing that keeps us from taking every fucking thing you have, even though you're using a Tor browser and Bitcoin, is fucking... Because Tor browsers and Bitcoins in reality only protect if you care to be law-abiding. 
once that information goes out into a server, it may not be encrypted on that server and everything can be tracked back. This is a message for all the little fuckers out there doing child porn, you know, all those other things, and think that they can get away with it. You're not getting away with it. You're being allowed to break the rules because you don't matter. The minute you do something that you do matter, the hammer falls on you, and it falls on you so quickly, and so this, that, or the other. There is no anonymity. I don't give a shit what you've been told. I don't care what tour. I don't care what this, that, or the other. Talk to the fucking FBI, man. The, the tour is for fucking with them. Fucking with your police department. Fucking with whatever. Fucking with Homeland Security. But for people that really don't understand computers, not really. Because no one's going to attack it at the node. Or before it gets to the node. No one's going to attack it after it leaves. You're going to attack it in the node. And at some point in time, you may not use... You know, <laughs> that is might leave the Tor network. You might need to say or the other. You know. The language in all of this, of course, sounds very bad, I guess. But what you have to understand is there are people out there like me who the only reason we're not doing things is because we gave our word. And we can't go back on that. But the difference between the criminal and the cop, or the however you want to say it, is which side of the line you stand. Could I have called the FBI, Cyber Crimes Division, this, that, or the other? Yeah, I could have done that. Could I have done, you know, a lot of different things? Did it cost? Yeah, it cost. But I'm making a video instead of poning your ass. And you may never watch this video, but for the people that get the idea that they can just go out and take. You may someday run into somebody that knows more, is more educated, this, that, or the other. I lie a lot on this channel to protect my identity. As Jacob says, I enjoy my privacy. I'm coming out one time. I will come out very seldom on these videos. Is my rack running? Yes. Of course. All you need to do is tell me and it's done. They were afraid to tell me though. <laughs> but it, it's done. Whew. Not happy. If it would have been me at a different point in my life, 30 years ago, if that person existed today, I would have taken all your bitcoins, I would have taken all your money, and I would have donated them to a charity. Today, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to let someone pwn me. Peace out.